about to be here today, I'm going to teach you the trick follow. It was kind of like, how do I put this? I showed it in the Lord of Flies variations. Then I got replies saying that I probably, that it, they want a little bit improvement on, on how to do follow if you're kind of not so great at it. So this is here to help you. All right. So things you need to know about follow. Timing of the pinch would, this won't stop the, you know, if you have the correct timing of the pinch, you shouldn't have to stop the momentum of it. All right? Second thing, you need to know how to do, do a jade whip. That's one of the first black tricks you should ever know how to do. So that shouldn't be a problem. All right? So let's get on with the trick. Now, please note, I don't want this to be a full-blown tutorial because there are better ones out there. But this is just to give you a general idea and maybe if you can learn from this, that might be cool. Alrighty. First thing, hold the hold the yo-yo like this so that if you're gonna do like a jade whip, it's kind of like a jade whip motion to start it. Like, alright? So you kinda wanna do um, you kinda wanna do that when you first get the yo-yo to go. Alrighty. Now, timing of the pinch is what I'm mostly going to be covering in this tutorial. Because most tutorials don't really go over that, which is actually the, the hardest parts of the trick. And also, it's the most important. Alright. Another thing you need to know. When you do follow, you don't want to completely release your like fingers or thumb off the off of the string, you just want to kind of kind of have it really close or loose, or not exactly loose, but you just kind of want to loosen your pinch a little bit, just so that you can you'll be able to have that nice big slack, and also you won't lose the slack either. Alrighty. So first thing you need to do, if you want to try your first rotation to follow, which in this case the the slack would be on top. And the yo will be on the opposite end, which means it's going to be on the bottom. You need to pinch here. Use, when I like to think of follow, I like to think like I'm on a swing. You pump your legs at the bottom, then you have them nice, and then you have them swinging up at the top, and then you repeat. Kind of think of follow as the same way, except the pumping of your legs is the slack. All right. So I pinch on the bottom. And when you do that, you can't. You also kind of want to have to swing the yo-yo a little bit. This will keep the momentum, which is crucial in follow. Because if you stop the momentum, you stop follow. I mean, it's simple. So when you so when you pinch the slack on the bottom, you you want to pinch it, and then you want to let the yo-yo swing. You don't want to stop this. You don't want to stop it because it's going to be go going in. The, in this direction all right so see swing and at that point when I when I have a pinch and then I start loosening my pinch that yo, the yo-yo is starting to go upwards all right now when the yo-yo is on the top and the slack is on the bottom you want to pinch you want to loosen on either side as it on the transitions when it's going down or it's going to the top all right so, I pinch at the bottom, I loosen at the top, I loosen out at the sides, so that I get the slack, and it doesn't look bad. Sorry about the cricket. I can't find them. Alrighty, so, you loosen your, so you don't want to stop the, the swing. It's, if the area wants to go in a direction, when you pinch it, as in mine, as in it will want to go this way, yeah, you let it do that. Alrighty. Another thing I find I find that helps. When I was first learning follow, and I was holding the string, I kept all four fingers on the string, cause that helped me have a nice, a nice strong grip when I was doing it. Cause with my thumb, it was really hard when you only had like one thumb on the string like when it was slipping. 
In fact, I still do that today some days. Is so with the positioning of your fingers, it's all up to you. I mean, if you find that if you find something that works for you, I use it. All right? So timing, tim timing of pinching, keeping the momentum of the yo-yo going. Finally, the dismount. The dismount is the easiest part to follow if you never, if you're learning follow like, uh, like when you're beginning. All right. So let's say you do follow for a little bit, for a little bit, <laughs> and you wanna uh, land it. For, there's two ways you can practically and land this. One way, if you don't want to stop a combo, a combo, if you want to stop a combo and you want to bind, and another way, if you want to continue one, or if you just me and you want to continue Lord of the Fly. But my Lord of the Fly is variation. In my case, I just continue with Lord of the Fly's variation because it's just like, because I just find those two go together. So, you end it in a jade whip. That, but when you, when you want to end it, you want to stop the momentum of the yo-yo, and the yo-yo should be on, and it should be at a standstill. And, not, and you do a jade whip, or an iron whip, depending on how you see it. Stopping the yo-yo and putting it in a little, I'm not sure what type of thing to call it. I'm just going to call it a jade whip now. Sorry, my, my string tension's out. Oh, man, I got a knot. Now, also, you can just drop it. It doesn't look very classy, though. And that's pretty much follow. <laughs> 